How to use Google Merchant Center Have you ever conducted an online research for a specific item like smartphone for sale? If so, you've likely noticed that the top results are often filled with product ads. Instead of the typical text-based search results, these ads showcase the actual products you are looking for, making them hard to miss. This is where the Google Merchant Center comes into play. It is a powerful tool that can transform the way you present your products online. Instead of merely appearing on search results, you can have your products featured prominently in these visually appealing ad listings. Imagine the advantage of having your product showcased at the top search results, right where you potential customers are looking. That is precisely what Google Merchant Center can help you achieve. In this tutorial, we're going to guide you through the process of harnessing the potential of the Google Merchant Center for your business. You'll learn how to effectively present your products in these eye-catching ad listings. So stay tuned. But before we dive in, let's understand why this matters. If you run an online store and sell physical products, this tool can be a game changer. It is your ticket to ensuring your products get noticed by a broader audience and stand out in a competitive online marketplace. So let's get into it. First is you need to log into your Google account and if you don't have one, create an account and then once you're logged in, navigate to the Google Merchant Center by searching it on Google and then you have to click sign up for free. And now you'll start sign up process. It will ask you to do you sell products online, said yes and you have to put your online store. Then you have a brick and mortar store. I don't know this so let's click no. And then this is where your products will show and this is what I've showed you a while ago and what you need is your own online store of course your products and not services then continue to merchant center then you have to put your business name then your country then if you want to get notified your email invitations you can select this one but I don't want so let's continue once that you are already in here you want to add these details in order for us to show products on Google so the first one is you add your business address let's click add then you have to put your address your city your state or province, the postal or zip code. And then you have to continue. The next one is you have to verify your phone number to confirm it's you. So just put your number here and click continue. The third would be confirm the online store of your business. So you have to put your online store URL in here. It is automatically put in here. And you need to verify it through a code sent to your business email or use your e-commerce platform such as Shopify, WooCommerce, Wix or add an HTML tag or file or you can use Google Tag Manager, whatever suits you. Then you can verify your store online. The next is add details to show how you ship your products. Just click add and then to begin adding shipping confirmation, select a single country or multiple countries that share shipping cost and delivery options. So for example, let's click. Then you have to add products or select products that share shipping cost and delivery options. It is by default by all products. So let's hit continue. And then the order cut off is you can edit in here whatever time you want. Then your time zone, then handling time days can be fulfilled Monday to Friday, Monday to Saturday, or Monday to Sunday. In transit times, set into days, you can set in here. And the total delivery time is two to five business days based on what you've put in here. Let's hit continue. And then you can choose your currency and shipping cost free shipping paid shipping free shipping over a certain amount and then if you're already satisfied just hit save the next one is you have to set up sales stacks to show total product price so in here show exact prices by specifying how you collect sales tax in the united states this is some technical information here but based on your business address outside the united states the proposed setup for you is not to change your tax in any of its states okay then hit save the next step would be set up sales tax to show total product price. Show exact prices by specifying how you collect sales tax in the United States. This is essential to check with your tax advisor before you make settings in here. You can add tax categories once you have states in which you charge tax. And it is suggestion that based on your business address outside the United States, the proposed setup for you is not to change the tax in any of its states. But you can actually change it in here. And then you can hit save. And the last one would be adding your products. There is an option 
option here on how to add your products you can add products from your website it automatically updates with your online store and then you can actually add products from your file um a file that contains all of your product details such as title description price and more or you can use a google sheets template or you can add products one by one on product details product page on your online store you have to put your online store and then the title of the product for example then the brand if you have a brand in the description and then you can also add product images the price and condition and availability product type would be clothing and then condition new refurbish or use and then the price for example the currency that you have can change it or availability the sale price and then select a date range also product identifier such as an id or sku since i don't have this one you can select i don't have the language would be english or whatever english you prefer you can add the details the color the size the material the gender the pattern the age group and you can also add additional product details if this is an adult product bundle or whatever if energy efficiency class my minimum maximum energy efficiency class and lastly the shipping tax returns you can set the shipping weight the shipping length the width the height the minimum handling time and then you can hit save you have to keep an eye on your performance including the overview the products the competitive visibility the market demand the pricing the shopping experience scorecard because google provides various reports and insights to help you track your progress also google merchant center offers various features such as running ad campaigns dynamic remarketing and local inventory ads you can explore here these options to enhance your business visibility and reach broader audience remember that google merchant is a dynamic platform and it is essential to keep refining your listings and strategies to maximize your success and that's it you've successfully set up your google merchant center account and on your way on promoting the products effectively if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more useful tips on growing your online business thanks for watching and best of luck with your google merchant center journey